Yo, what is up everybody? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is centered around combat arms. Oh my god, what year is it? I'm making a combat arms video. Be mad or happy? Don't be mad. Be happy. So I wanted to make this video more based around just like the path of exploitation to get what you want from a company. I'm playing with fire making this video, uh, but I don't think this is directly towards uh, Valof or Valofi or however you say the company name. This is more towards levelupgames.com.br. So specifically the Brazilian version of Combat Arms. And I wanted to make an example of my thought process when I'm trying to dig around and find files that I want pertaining to a video game. This is actually kind of the process of how a lot of basic leaks happen. And it's a ton of fun, honestly, messing around with this style of stuff. You just kind of need to know what tools to use. You need to know what to do and what to dig around and what's important, what isn't. And that's kind of what I'm going to go over here. So the very first thing I'm going to go over here is subdomainfinder.c99.nl very useful website what this web page does is it finds what's called a subdomain now obviously y'all know about regular web domains google.com what a lot of people don't realize is on a website you can have subdomains that link to other places to kind of hide what the actual link is so for example you can do store google.com and it takes you to the google web store for like google pixels and stuff like that you can also do i think like mail.google.com and that's gmail but basically that's how a subdomain works and you can honestly have an infinite possibility of subdomains to a point you can do something dot something dot something dot something dot something dot something dot your domain dot com for example so the subdomain finders are very helpful in that sense. Uh, there's a couple good ones on GitHub as well if you'd rather use one in Python. That's kind of like a custom one that does it more in a brute force sense. But realistically what this one does is it's kind of similar to archive.org where it's checking the website and basically archiving the subdomains, which is very useful. I have a love of combat arms. I want to tell you guys or use this as an example to show you guys the steps of how like a lot of people ask how did you get the old installer files when you were making combat arms reborn i know i just said the forbidden project name oh no um <laughs> anyway i i miss i miss reborn anyway um this i did not know about when it came to reborn and finding those old game client downloads that was just a lot of googling and a lot of getting lucky this is a little bit of like the next level up of like, what can I find? So what do we want to do here? Well, what you do is you put in the domain right here. Let's see here. I'm going to do just another one for the example of it. So we're going to do, <laughs> uh, we'll do an old favorite, ciegames.com which I don't believe even exists anymore, so you probably won't find anything. Yeah, Fueled and Left Shark. Wasn't that a meme? Left Shark. Yeah, that was... Okay, That yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, CIE, what was Left Shark? I'm going to have to ask one of the Auto Legends devs if they remember what this was. Anyway, um, good example. Now, obviously, there's no IP here. It was not cloud flared apparently um fueled i can tell you was racing rivals from my experience left shark i don't know what that was anyway that's just kind of the example of how you use the site so level up games website is levelupgames.com.br if you type that into here you get a lot of their currently in use domains or subdomains but as well as you can see some of the ones that are maybe potentially dead so what I did was I wanted to find the download link specifically for Combat Arms. Now, are there easier ways to do this? Like, just go to the web page for Combat Arms and click download? Yes. Did I want to do that? No, I like doing things the hard way. So, we open up the download.levelupgames.com.br, and as you will see, it just goes to a 403 forbidden because <laughs> I'm not allowed here. 
So I'm going to go to archive.org and I'm going to put it in here with an asterisk at the end of the URL. If you use the asterisk at the end of the URL, it'll take you to this web page where it lists out everything that, wow, there's a lot of stuff. It'll list out everything that's here that archive.org has already archived. And you can search, you know, how old do you want to search? Do you want to search like their really old stuff or do you want most recent stuff? You can basically search, you can do like file types of exe or .zip or whatever. Uh, Archive.org is insanely helpful, insanely useful. There's nothing here that, you know, it, it, it is it dangerous at times? Yes, 100%, I will admit it. But as you can see, like here's the Comet Arms setup file for that specific version. Not found. Probably because the download links don't exist anymore for that BR. But as you can see, you know, you can try to get the different versions, basically. Now, I find it very surprising that there is a double slash. Now, here's the thing. Maybe the direct link doesn't work anymore. If you open this up, archive.org archived it. <laughs> you got to love archive.org sometimes. And the other nice thing, too, is you can do, like, combat arms slash and it'll only give you the results for combat arms i wonder if any of these torrents actually still have cedars that's funny that those are here anyway so that's the combat arms installers but what if for example instead of these files you get something that's a dot application a lot i made a video a couple years ago i think i have it unlisted now because it was kind of riding the line of is that company going to come after me for this since level up is not using this file anymore as far as it looks like i don't think there's a problem with me showing this off so a dot application file is just a fancy script file if you will that they used to use for combat arms stuff so as you can see in this folder i have combatarms.exe, I have dot application, and then the temp folder. Why do I have a temp folder? Because when this is running, it downloads stuff to your temp folder, which I have right here. And it usually saves it in a dot in a deployment folder of some sort. Some companies will change the name of the file. As you can see, there's nothing in here right now. If I run this application file, connects to the internet, it runs this installer file. I'm surprised it didn't download anything, to be honest. Oh, it's because I already did it once, so it probably has the stuff somewhere else on my computer now that I think about it. Um, I just got to find level up. Hey, look, I'm a pirate skid row. Actually, do I have everything on this computer? I do not have everything on this computer. Give me one second. I'll find the files for you. All right, I found it. It was in the program data folder. Um, so what is in this level up downloader folder? Well, there's a bunch of datas and persistables that are no longer here. That's where it's supposed to be. Um, <laughs> gotta love, uh, how this crap works. But generally what you can do is there's a tool called Fiddler. And what Fiddler does is it allows you to basically watch the network connections to a server. So if I run this, it connects, well, it tries to connect and then it gets an error upon trying to connect and can't actually download anything because this file doesn't exist anymore. So realistically, I can't do anything with this installer file. But here's what's interesting about application files. I can just open this up in Notepad. Look, dot application is literally just text files. And then you can see the like uh, URL here specifically for the downloader. You can see the different version numbers here. If you take this URL, go to wherever my little heart desires. Let's say, I, I want to say it was, yeah, so right here. I already have it in here. You just do the client downloader level up games dot com dot br application files. I can change these version numbers and it'll download files. So that one failed because that version doesn't exist. 
That version doesn't exist. That version doesn't exist. You know what version did exist? 4.4. Four. It's right here. So you kind of just go through and try to guess what versions existed. Or you can write a Python script to probably automate it. Which wouldn't be very hard. 8. But there's not many numbers here. It wouldn't be that difficult to just sit here and spend like 20 minutes just guessing. 5. And you'll know something downloaded because, at least on Firefox, this will turn into a little blue check mark. Three. I want one more. Come on, two. Uno. I don't know how to. I don't speak that language. There we go. But yeah, anyway, you get the gist. And that allows you to kind of dig around. But the thing is, at least in this folder, you can't really do much digging around. This is pretty well protected. As you can see, I mean, you could try to archive.org and dig around the application files, or you can even do like in URL and see if Google has anything, but it doesn't. So as you can see, it only has, oh, okay. There's more numbers than I thought. There's a 29. Thanks, buddies. Anyway, but yeah, you get the gist of it. And then from there, you just see if you can find your files that you're really interested in and go from there but you know so that's how i ended up grabbing you know at least some of this stuff none of this is all that useful but at least it's a step in the right direction of me maybe finding old installer versions for the dot br version of the game or something like that stuff that we might be missing from our personal archives over on lith archive um, I just collect this stuff because it's a fun hobby. I like to archive gaming history, and apparently Velofi and Nexon do not, just like Nintendo. So if this video exists for longer than a week, I'll be very surprised. But I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys at least, you know, kind of learned just kind of how the mind works when it comes to trying to tackle this sort of thing. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.